Hey Dan, it's uh, 20 minutes till 5 now, I'm still driving to Iowa, I'm in Iowa, so that's something, and I was thinking more about gravity, it's, uh, it's actually incredibly windy down here right now, the car's getting whipped all over the place, so I was thinking about um, free falling and wind speeds, and obviously any object when it's free falling has a terminal velocity based on the air resistance, right? So I was trying to figure out what would that feel like if you were free falling but had no air resistance. First of all, you would never reach a terminal velocity. You would just keep accelerating until you reached the middle of the, um, the object that was attracting you, right? Which you can't really do because you're going to actually impact the surface of the object in the case of the Earth or any other solid object. So, I guess if you had an object that had a mass, that was exerting the influence of gravity on another object, but somehow its mass wasn't solid, so you could pass through it with no resistance. What would that look like? So you were, if you were started out at 10,000 feet above the Earth, and you started falling, not falling, but obviously being attracted towards the center of that object, you would accelerate and accelerate and accelerate, but I guess your terminal velocity would be the distance you started from center to the center point, right? Times whatever the gravitational force was, presumably 32 feet per second per second. And if there were no air resistance, therefore no friction, you would just end up going the opposite direction against, well, gravity would still be exerting its, its pull on you, but now you would slow down, right? Until you reach the exact same point on the other side. So is there any way you could duplicate that? I guess if you built a really long enclosed cabinet uh, in a rectangular shape that was hollow on the inside, that there was also a vacuum in it that was 10,000 feet tall that would allow you to fall straight down then you could free fall like that of course you would end up terminating with the uh, being terminated as soon as you hit the surface of the earth but imagine how fast you were going if you started out at 32,000 feet well, what would that be? 32,000 feet 32 feet per second per second well, you do the math, because I can't do that one just in my head. So, um, I, I don't know. I think that would be, I mean, would you even notice? Would you even feel like you were moving? Or does the only thing that gives a sense of movement is friction? Friction of the air, the, the, presumably. I don't know. Anyway, still in Iowa. I'll probably talk to you again before I get there.